Another earthquake was felt near the Florida Panhandle. This is the fifth one in the past month. Take a look at a map from the U.S. Geological Survey. The magnitude 2.5 quake hit near Damascus, Alabama. Florida and Florida. 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 Beneath Florida's sunny skyline and swaying palms, a silent disaster is unfolding. Not from hurricanes swirling out in the Atlantic, not from rising tides nor surging storms, nor even the ever-present threat of sharks. This time, the threat is coming from below, where the seabed itself has begun to collapse. It started as a whisper, strange, ominous signals detected by undersea monitors, subtle shifts in the ocean floor that no one could explain. Then the sinking accelerated, cracks splintered across underwater ridges, and authorities had no choice but to act. Now entire stretches of Florida's legendary coastline, from Port Everglades to Palm Beach, stand eerily empty. Tourists are gone, roads are cordoned off, and the only sounds are the distant crash of waves and the low drone of helicopters policing the forbidden shore. Satellite images reveal the unthinkable, miles of ground buckling, areas showing mysterious subsidence, and sinkholes gaping beneath the surface. Officials released an emergency alert as portions of the ocean swallowed the sand and black tar balls rose from the depths. A dark, disruptive warning connected to the catastrophe itself. Scientists admit they don't have answers, only mounting questions. What's tearing this paradise apart? Is this just Florida's problem, or is the ground beneath our feet in danger elsewhere too? Behind the headlines, beneath the waves, and deep in the rock, a complex story of geology, collapse, and urgent risk is emerging. The biggest question remains, how close are we to the next disaster? And could it be even worse than anything we've seen before? Chapter one, ocean floor ripped open. They thought it couldn't happen here. Florida's coast, renowned for its gentle shores and shallow seas, was supposed to be stable a place where few would suspect disaster lurking below. But then it happened. The ocean floor itself gave way, unveiling a network of sinkholes that tore apart the seabed without warning. Why would seemingly solid ground just vanish, swallowed in a matter of hours? The answer, scientists believe, lies deep below the sand and turquoise water in the unique geology of Florida. The state's backbone isn't granite or solid rock, but porous, water-eaten limestone, a mineral that dissolves over time as fresh and salt water seep through the bedrock. This forms hidden caverns and honeycombs stretching for miles, many just waiting for the right trigger, a change in water pressure or an influx of water. Off the Florida coast, underground chambers caved in, dragging ocean floor sand downward and causing a domino effect of collapsing ground. Beaches vanished, and the seabed itself fractured, creating holes of significant size. These types of shifts aren't common, and the recent observed instability has left even seasoned researchers unnerved. Could there be other places along the world's coastlines where the ground waits, silently, for its own moment to fall? Chapter 2. Sinkholes, Florida's Underwater Trap One morning, the ocean might appear calm, a postcard-perfect blue. By sundown, a chasm hundreds of feet wide could open just beneath the surface, swallowing coral reefs and sandbars. For decades, Florida has been famous for sinkholes on land, but now the true scale of its underwater sinkhole labyrinth is coming into focus. Why do so many sinkholes cluster beneath Florida's pristine waves? Beneath the state's sun-drenched surface lies a fragile limestone plateau, shaped by millennia of groundwater slowly eating away the bedrock. On land, this forms the notorious Florida sinkholes that swallow homes and disrupt neighborhoods. Offshore, the same process works in secret. As ocean currents and tides shift, seawater seeps through hidden cracks, dissolving the limestone from below. Over time, entire cave systems form, interconnected chambers, thinly disguised by a layer of sediment. A single stressor, a surge or water level change, can cause these roofs to collapse, pulling everything above into the abyss. Recent findings suggest that the offshore network of sinkholes is larger and more interconnected than previously believed. When these caves fail, collapse can spread quickly, triggering wider instability along the seafloor. This isn't just a local problem. It's a warning stamped in the rock. Wherever there's limestone, there's risk. If collapse can start suddenly here, how many other coastlines face a similar ticking clock? Chapter 3 
Sudden sinking. The quiet emergency. No sirens. No shuddering earthquakes. Just a subtle, relentless sinking. Barely perceptible, but capable of catastrophic consequences. When satellite images first revealed parts of Florida's coastline lowering by centimeters, few raised alarms. But as roads cracked, seawalls tilted, and some buildings reported unusual settling, concern began to mount. How does the ground collapse with so little warning? This is the paradox of slow disasters. Beneath the surface, water migrates through limestone, hollowing it out and weakening it grain by grain. Pressure from above, ranging from normal wave action to human construction, accumulates until eventually something gives. The collapse isn't always dramatic. Ground can settle, roads buckle, and buildings tilt. The most chilling part? By the time outward signs appear, the failure is already significant, often too large to repair. Emergency alerts now echo along the coast. Warnings not sparked by hurricanes, but by satellite data and sensitive monitoring devices. The threat is nearly invisible until it's here. Is the real enemy the disaster you can't see coming until it's too late to escape? Chapter 4 Tarballs, Ocean's Ominous Warning Not all clues come as cracks or craters. Sometimes, the ocean speaks in ink. Recently, thick black tar balls washed ashore between Port Everglades and Palm Beach, prompting officials to close stretches of coast and leaving locals and tourists alike bewildered. What are these sinister tar balls and why did they appear now? When the seafloor collapses, it can disturb ancient organic matter trapped deep within porous rock. Over millennia, these carbon-rich remnants turn to tar or oil lying dormant until the ground breaks open. The sudden appearance of tar balls might be connected to ground shifts, as the disturbance brings these materials up through fractures. While industrial spills or red tide have dominated headlines before, these tar balls likely originate from natural deposits exhumed by shifting geology. Their emergence is more than a mess to clean up. It's a geological warning. Something larger may be breaking loose beneath the surface. If ancient tar can rise when the seafloor collapses, what else might be unleashed as Florida's foundation shifts? Chapter 5 Seismic Silence Rumbles Where None Should Be Florida isn't California. It has no legendary faults and is generally considered seismically quiet. Yet subtle tremors have been detected just offshore. Faint, unexplained rumbles where the earth is assumed steady. Why are earthquakes suddenly shaking Florida's underwater world? Recent subsidence and collapses may stress local rock layers enough to cause minor seismic vibrations. Although not caused by tectonic boundary movement, as in earthquake-prone regions, collapsing voids in the limestone and shifting sediments can create noticeable tremors. These aren't large quakes, but their presence underscores how even stable regions can respond to changing geological conditions with unexpected seismic activity. It's as if Florida's crust is developing minute fractures, warning of deeper instabilities. Could more dramatic quakes result from these collapses, triggered not by established fault lines, but by Florida's shifting geology? Chapter 6. Cracks in the American Dream Buying a home in Florida has long meant buying into a dream. White sand, ocean breezes, sunsets painting the waves gold. But as the ground subsides in some areas, entire communities grow uneasy. Roads break in spreading lines. Foundations may shift. How secure can any structure be when the earth beneath it dissolves away? Most of Florida's urban sprawl sits atop sediment and limestone, resting on ground that relies on the stability of underlying rock. Even modern buildings supported by deep foundations are vulnerable if the limestone beneath is undermined by water and collapse. The slow process warps foundations causing visible cracks and, in some cases, threatening property values and the safety of infrastructure. No amount of concrete or engineering can resist a ground that recedes grain by grain. As more coastal areas report ground instability, the idea of security in paradise faces new challenges. Is the very promise of Florida living built on a fragile foundation, one that may not last forever? Chapter 7 The Invisible Domino Effect a single collapse offshore can reveal broader vulnerability. Researchers are beginning to see signs of a vast, interconnected system. Each cave-in weakens the next stretch of ground, triggering a domino effect along the coast. 
How can one collapse set off a chain reaction stretching for miles? When a sinkhole opens beneath the ocean, the hollow left behind destabilizes the surrounding rock. Water rapidly floods in, increasing stress and weakening adjacent areas. This change in pressure spreads, raising the risk of further collapses nearby. What begins as an isolated event can quickly expand, biting into the coastline and threatening homes and infrastructure. Florida's coast isn't just sinking in isolated spots. It's at risk of unraveling further, as collapse breeds collapse. If the dominoes keep falling, how far could the instability spread before anything can stop it? Chapter 8 Secrets of the Submerged Caverns Beneath gentle surf, divers have discovered a world few ever see. Vast underwater caverns, echoing with the quiet drip of water and hidden currents. What emerges is a complex labyrinth stretching for miles, shaped by ages of slow dissolution. Are these submerged caves a key to Florida's collapsing coasts? Over centuries, groundwater has carved tunnels through the limestone, some mapped in central Florida's springs, but many offshore remain largely unexplored. In these hidden passages, the ocean continues dissolving stone and amplifying the risk of future collapse. The true scale of these underwater features is still being studied, but it's clear. They form part of the very foundation lying beneath much of Florida's coast. With every new survey, scientists realize that these caverns are not rare or isolated. They run like veins through the earth below. What other secrets and vulnerabilities wait in these endless underwater halls? Chapter 9 Human Footprints, Unforeseen Consequences No one set out to worsen the crisis, but Florida's rapid growth and development may be making things worse. The more civilization spreads, the deeper the trouble seems to go. How could human actions above ground trigger catastrophe below? Growing population creates a higher demand for fresh water, leading to more wells and aquifer drainage. Lowering the groundwater table can leave limestone drier and more brittle. Construction projects apply added weight to ground that may already be unstable. Paved surfaces and mismanaged stormwater can further accelerate erosion, sending more water underground to dissolve limestone. Efforts to tame paradise, building new roads, homes, and resorts may be tipping a delicate balance, arming a hidden time bomb beneath the surface. If these patterns continue, can any amount of engineering keep Miami and the rest of the state safely above water? Chapter 10. Lessons from other collapses. Florida's situation may seem unique, but it echoes disasters elsewhere and throughout history. The same warning signs have appeared in both ancient and modern times. Are we seeing the early stages of a pattern that has destroyed other coasts before? The dangers of soft rock and hidden water have played out, with land subsiding, swelling, and in some places, vanishing entirely. Geologists point to past events where major landforms changed forever, because of slow, relentless undercutting by water. The underlying principles are the same. Soft rock, hidden voids, and pressure from above spell risk. Florida is not the first and likely won't be the last to face these challenges. The lesson, unless underlying causes are addressed, the risk of sudden collapse will remain. What happens when warnings are ignored and history repeats itself? Chapter 11, The Expanding Threat Zone. Initial shutdowns focused on Florida's most famous beaches, but soon, concern began to mount elsewhere. Ground instability isn't limited to one stretch of coast. Is Florida's disaster destined to spread far beyond its borders? The same limestone underlies much of the state and even reaches up the Atlantic coast. Early warnings and satellite data suggest similar risks could exist in neighboring areas. As researchers widen their surveys, Microsubsidence and undetected sinkholes may point to a broader regional concern. Geology doesn't stop for county lines. What starts in one city or town can ripple out, expanding the threat zone each year. If left unchecked, could Florida's current crisis be just Act 1 of a much larger story? Chapter 12 Underwater Landslides, Tidal Tsunami Threat If sinkholes opening on the seabed sound frightening, another risk looms underwater landslides that could, in theory, trigger local tidal waves. When a piece of the seafloor drops and sediment slides down the continental slope, it can displace large volumes of water, resulting in powerful, wave-like surges approaching the coast. While rare, such events have occurred in other parts of the world and are studied as possible hazards for the region. Scientists are continuing to monitor the edge of the shelf for instability that could, under the right circumstances, 
have dramatic effects. Awareness and preparation are critical, even if the probability of a major tsunami is considered low compared to regions bordering active fault lines. Is the collapse beneath Florida setting a new stage for sudden coastal hazards? Chapter 13. At Risk. The 21st Century's Hidden Hot Zones. Florida's coast is now referred to as a hot zone for geological instability, a phrase usually applied to earthquake or volcanic regions. But the comparison is becoming more apt. Is the Atlantic margin becoming a new epicenter for geological risk? While Florida isn't volcanic and has little tectonic activity, its sudden collapses and unexpected geologic behavior highlight that risk isn't limited to traditional danger zones. Subsurface processes can result in sudden, destabilizing events. Florida's experience serves as a reminder. Dangers sometimes come from within, not just from seismic or volcanic activity. With each sinkhole, seismic reading, or tarball event, the shifting ground is sending a message. Could the Atlantic become known for its own geological drama, before our eyes and under our feet? Chapter 14. Emergency Science. Racing the Collapse. Researchers are working urgently to understand and predict the unfolding crisis. Deploying drones, scanning the seafloor, and analyzing clues from every sunken beach and altered road. How can science predict, let alone prevent, the next catastrophic collapse? Every day, teams review satellite images, map spreading voids, and search for early warning signs. Yet the pace of change often outstrips the ability to model or predict specific failures. Technology helps, but millions live along vulnerable coasts. The best case outcomes may involve timely evacuations, closing off at-risk areas, and reinforcing critical infrastructure. The long-term solution will demand new thinking about where and how we build, not just in Florida, but in all regions with similar geology. Is our best defense vigilance and adaptation, or are some areas simply too vulnerable to save? Chapter 15. When the ground betrays trust. The most unsettling question is about trust. Trust in the land under our feet. For generations, Florida's beaches symbolized safety and escape. Now, with portions of the coastline closed and the future uncertain, old assumptions are shaken. What happens to a place and its people when the earth begins to shift? Nothing in geology ever stands still. Sometimes the ocean takes back what it once surrendered, and civilization must either retreat or adapt. Florida's sudden instability is a reminder written in sunken sand and closed beaches. Nature's quiet power can unravel any paradise at any time. Today the beaches may be empty, but tomorrow, new chapters in this story will unfold, written by science, adaptation, and whatever comes next from the deep. If you want to dive further into the mysteries of geology, the risks beneath our coasts, and the forces shaping our world, be sure to subscribe. The answers, warnings, and secrets of our planet are never far below the surface, and sometimes, as we've seen, they're breaking through when we least expect it.